Friedrich Nietzsche experienced an extremely haunting nightmare when he was a child at the age of six. This was not just a form of nightmare, but turned out to be a premonitory dream. This is what Sigmund Freud called a dream that precedes a real event that seems to foretell its occurrence. In his book The Interpretation of Dreams, Sigmund Freud alluded many times to the ancient belief that certain dreams predicted the future, which this was exactly the case for Nietzsche. This dream is covered over in the book called Nietzsche and the Vicious Cycle by Pierre Klosowski. Nietzsche writes about this dream twice, first at the age of 13 or 14 in 1858 and once again at the age of 17. The first version says the following, At this time I dreamt that I heard the sounds of an organ coming from the church, as if at a burial. As I was looking to see what was going on, a grave suddenly opened and my father, clothed in his death shroud, arose from the tomb. He hurries towards the church and almost immediately comes back with a child in his hand. The sound of the grave reopens, he climbs back in, and the gravestone once again sinks back over the opening. The swelling noise of the organ immediately stops and I wake up. The day after this night, little Joseph, his young brother, is suddenly taken ill with cramps and convulsions and dies within a few hours. Our anguish was immense, my dream was fulfilled completely. The second version written in 1861 says the following. I seemed to hear the sound of three deadened organs coming from the nearby church. Surprised I open the window that looks over the church and the cemetery. My father's tomb opens. A white form rises from it and disappears into the church. Disturbing sounds continue to bellow. The white form carries something under its arms that I cannot make out. The tumulus is raised. The form descends into it. The organ falls silent. I wake up. The next day my brother, my young brother, a vivacious and gifted child is seized with convulsions and dies within a half an hour and was buried beside my father's tomb. What makes this nightmare so frightening and obscure is not only that they are precognition dreams, but they are directly associated in the dream with his dead father. Is this something you could potentially call a clear example of synchronicity that was presented by Carl Jung? This is partly the case because both instances correlate with an a-causal connection being that neither of the occurrences are caused by one another, but a problem arises as both occurrences do not coincide with each other, this being that they do not happen at the same time, as it is a dream which symbolises the death of a child which turns out to be his young brother. One way this could be granted synchronistically sound, according to Jung, is that both the death of his brother and the dream occurred the same night at the same time, but this was not the case. Nevertheless, there is some definite overlap presented in this strange occurrence. One way to attempt to rationalise this would be to rationalise the cause for the premonitory dream or precognitive dream. Could it be, for example, that Nietzsche's brain unconsciously acknowledged his brother's fall into slight illness before it further developed, and then this data was used unconsciously in his dream to construct a narrative that dealt with other elements of his being that had not been confronted appropriately? As the dream is a precognition, the idea of it representing battling confrontations within his unconscious mind are disregarded, but should be taken with the same degree of relevance if to analyse it subjectively with its relation to the collective unconscious and what this dream truly meant to Nietzsche on a subjective interpersonal level. Nevertheless, I thought this was interesting, especially as it is something I've not heard of before when it comes to the history of Frederick Nietzsche's life. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like, comment your thoughts down below, what do you think of premonitory dreams, have you ever had any, and make sure to subscribe for more content on philosophy, psychology and symbolism.